Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to build this modern family house. For this house you're only gonna need multiple floors and advanced placing game passes. Let's get right into it. Alright, let's start with this house. We're gonna do kind of like the exterior layout first. So it's a pretty simple house to be honest. We're gonna do a four white wall like this and then we're gonna do a two wall like this. So this is gonna be kind of like a two by one room but that is gonna work as a kind of like a pillar. Okay and then we're gonna do a three white wall and we're gonna do a six white wall like this right here. Uh, we're gonna connect it with the with the other room we did before and yeah this is gonna be kind of like the lofted area so what we're gonna do here is basically close this off again but on the second floor like this and we're gonna basically copy the same room but here so we're gonna do a two by one room over here um then okay so we're gonna close up this room as well this is gonna be a four by four room this is gonna be the kids room and as you can see we have some space left right here so this is gonna be a three by two room and this is gonna be the bathroom also we need to build uh kind of like the dining table area i don't know how to call it but it's kind of like a little patio area <laughs> but yeah okay so we're gonna do okay we're gonna build the wall right here we're gonna leave three cubes basically separating this wall and the wall of the house and we're gonna copy the same wall over here and now we can start placing our fences so for fences we're gonna place our plain quarter fence we're gonna take this fence and we're gonna basically connect both of these walls with the fence then over here we're gonna connect this part of the house with this so this is gonna be closed like this and we're gonna also this part of the house like this Let's but not least we're gonna add a add our roofs so we're gonna put a roof on top of this part of the house we're gonna also put a roof over here let me show you how i'm gonna do it so we're gonna first of all we're gonna manually place our roof we're gonna click here, click on this corner as well and then we just close it off like this i like to drag this roof off just so it looks a little bit more detailed and for this part we're gonna we're gonna do a floor so instead of a roof we're gonna do a floor because we're gonna have things on top of this terrace oh yeah and i'm forgetting we're gonna need a ladder so put it right here and yeah this is basically oh i forgot as well need to fill up this space and we can also build the floor for the lofted area now so this is gonna be a four by four floor as well this is gonna be opened up also gonna put a fence over here so you don't fall off and i don't know die we also need another ladder so okay you can barely see on the inside but i'm gonna put the ladder over here so we're gonna leave a space of two cubes like this and then the ladder is gonna go over there so we can climb up to the lofted area so yeah this is actually kind of like the whole layout of the house now let's do our floors so for floors we're gonna okay i don't need to be very specific on how we're gonna build our floors i know a lot of you know how to build in Bloxbury try to be as detailed as possible without taking up a lot of, of time we're gonna build another floor over here this floor actually I'm gonna go to fences we're gonna take our plain short fence and we're gonna do our garden section so this space as you can see we're gonna fill it up like this we're gonna basically outline our garden area so here is gonna have uh that our garden area then also we're gonna outline all of this space right here like this as you can see it's kind of like an inverted l this is gonna be another garden section and we're gonna copy our floor and we're gonna basically build a floor that goes all around this space like this as you can see it was 43 dollars which is going to be leading into our terrace area amazing we have literally we have the whole layout of the house done already now let's start painting this for this floor i'm gonna paint it concrete because i really like how the texture looks uh what colors should i do for the house i haven't even thought about the colors i think i'm gonna do brick over here i'm gonna do a white brick all of the accents like the stairs and the the windows kind of like the fences that i place for the garden areas are gonna be are gonna be black so like this let's paint everything black uh for this part i think i'm gonna paint it like a wood color would be kind of cool to have these vertical planks but kind of like a wood color like this oh that looks nice like how that color looks and for the rest of the house we're gonna basically paint it white so yeah this is these are gonna be our three textures for this house so it's gonna be brick it's gonna be this wood and plain white plastic texture also another thing i really like to do in these type of houses that are a little bit more modern is turn the roofs into kind of like basically grass that looks so cute and i feel like a lot of 
a lot of people are doing this in their own houses, you know, for the whole environmental, I don't know, problems that are going on right now in the world. It's a really good idea to do that. Plus, I'm not gonna do it, but you can place some, some trees or like some plants on top of these roofs. Okay, now let's do windows and doors. So for the windows, we're gonna be using our clear windows again. We're gonna put one over here and one over here. I'm gonna try not resize any of the windows because I know that for resizing windows you need a game pass. I think it's the advanced placing game pass, I don't know. But I'm gonna try and not resize any of the windows. If I do resize anything in this house, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what alternatives you can you can use. So for example, I am gonna resize these windows. This is losing kind of like the essence of a tutorial because I'm not even explaining what I'm doing to this point anymore. But I know a lot of y'all are like following through the whole tutorial. Okay, for doors, we're gonna use our sliding doors. We're gonna paint it black so it looks like windows, but it's obviously a door. And we're gonna put another one over here. We're gonna decorate the garden section of camera because these are usually the parts that take the most time and I'm gonna show you once I'm done. Also gonna try and not use that many garden items because we're gonna try and keep this house a little bit cheap. Hopefully it's gonna be around like 20, 25k. Okay, not that bad of a garden section. These are the plants that I placed to, to make it as good as possible and as cheap as possible. Now we also need a bit of an outdoor light and I feel like this lamp right here which is $255 fits perfectly with the vibe of the house. And last but not least let's place the rest of the lights. I'm gonna be using these sleek ceiling lights. I'm gonna do one over there and I'm gonna paint it cloudy gray just like this. I'm gonna put one over here. And I'm gonna also put one over here so this part of the house doesn't look that dark. Let's put two of these in this roof. I think that's it for the exterior. We also need some, some planters. Usually in all of my houses I like to put planters. I feel like it's a really nice and this way you can scale up your, yeah, basically your garden skill. Uh, this is it for the exterior. Oh, we need, uh, okay. We also need a dining table. For the dining table, we're gonna take our simplicity table and we're gonna do also maybe these industrial stools. Yeah, I like how that looks. I'm gonna paint it beige. Let's start working on on our, our interior. So for the interior, we're gonna paint the floors are gonna be basically this texture that we use on the, on the exterior. If you feel like I'm going too fast, please pause the video or make it slower because I gotta go to school in like 30 minutes, so I'm literally rushing to finish this video. All the walls in the interior are gonna be white except for this wall right here for the kids' bedroom. I feel like it looked... Ah, uh, the bathroom? Okay, what? What's going on over here? Okay, I think this is meant to be white. Bathroom is also gonna be white. Oh, and this wall right here on the on the very end of the house is gonna be this texture. So it looks like it's connecting basically with the floors. Uh, everything on the second floor is gonna be white as well. And just like that, we have our colors done. Perfect. Okay, now let's place the light. So for lights, we're gonna do two of these sleek lights in the kids' bedroom, one in the bathroom. We're gonna do two over here and we're gonna put a chandelier. So I'm leaving space for, for this chandelier, this one right here. It's gonna be in the very middle. And on the second floor, we're gonna place four of these lights. So one, two, three, four, perfect. For doors, we're gonna take our sleek sliding doors and we're gonna put two, one for the bathroom and one for the bedroom. So this way, it's gonna leave a space between both of the doors and we're gonna have the TV right here in the middle. Amazing, I love how this door looks in all black. I mean, you can see the handle of the door, but you don't, need it it's a sliding door you know what else okay i'm gonna start with the bathroom <laughs> so the bathrooms you know pretty basic spaces we're gonna do a tub 480 dollar tub we're gonna also do a toilet so i like this 300 dollar toilet but we also need a window for for this bathroom so let's copy the same window we use in the front for the kids bedroom and we are gonna also put a sink and this is basically our bathroom pretty basic okay for the kitchen i'm kind of scared because i know the counters are are really expensive so i'm gonna use this 230 dollar we're gonna do two and we're gonna leave space for for the stove and for the fridge so let's do a basic stove and let's also do this fridge and we're gonna paint it white gray and black just like that 
And to give this space a little bit more detail, we're gonna also add some cabinets. I decided to go for these shaker cabinets, um, these half cabinets. So we're gonna do a row of four cabinets like that. And let's paint it the same we did on, on the counters, like that. That looks so nice, I like how it looks. I mean, I still feel like we need some light that so we're gonna do a lamp i've seen this in a lot of houses especially in lofted houses that they have kind of like lamps so we're gonna do a lamp over here in the corner and let's also do a bit of a plant over there just like that so as you can see this house is pretty basic but i'm only giving you the basics of this house if you want to decorate it more or do it differently you obviously can but this is my take on this house it's i mean gonna be pretty simple so <laughs> You're warned, okay? You're warned. Now for the kids' bedroom, we're gonna take this $300 bed and we're gonna put two like this. The colors are also gonna be gray for the wood and I think I'm gonna do pink for this bed and we could do maybe a blue for this one. Oh, that looks actually kinda cute. And let's also do a bit of a carpet. We're gonna paint it. Okay, we're gonna paint it cloudy gray with the twisted wood texture. This is my go-to texture. Every single house of mine, I use it in the original house that i built so i'm rebuilding this house basically but in the original house i switched these pillows but i don't think i'm gonna do it in this house because i'm trying to keep it as cheap as possible so no i'm not gonna replace the pillows what i'm gonna do is add a lamp and i'm gonna add a alarm clock i feel like this is basic stuff for any bedroom in this game we also need a bit of a dresser so we're gonna take our modern dresser and we're gonna put one over there. We're gonna paint it gray as well with the black accent. And we're gonna put a mirror and a little overgrowth plant. This bedroom is looking nice, but we do need the last final touch, which is gonna be some paintings. We're gonna wanna take our paintings, our basic paintings, and put on top of the beds like this. And there's our kids' bedroom. Now let's do, okay, I'm gonna do the parents' bedroom. Let's copy the dressers that we used on the kids' bedroom and put two over there. Let's also put a bit of a mirror. And basically the bed is gonna be the same, just a double bed. But I think we can paint it maybe green. Yeah, I wanna do green. And we're gonna also do our nightstands. I'm gonna take advantage of the situation and put two lamps because this house is dark. Didn't realize until now. And last but not least, to add a little bit more detail, we're gonna do a painting. And I'm gonna resize it. This is optional, you don't need to do it. But I do like how this painting looks resized. It's the perfect size. Oh yeah, and I forgot we need one of these... Okay, I'm gonna do these reclining armchairs actually. I used a different couch in the original house, but I'm gonna do this one just like that. Right there in the corner. And this is our parents' bedroom. Now we literally need to finish up this by doing the living room. So for our living room, we're gonna take this simple sectional. We're gonna do one of these pieces of couch in the middle. Let's do a left and a right. So it's gonna be like this. And we're also gonna do a bit of an ottoman. This is gonna be green. The couch is gonna be green with the white pillows. Let's copy our plant as well. And okay, so we need, last but not least, we need the TV. So we're, oh, we're gonna take this console table, which is the industrial one. We're gonna paint it the same as we painted everything else. And last but not least, we're gonna add our TV and we can call this house a day. And this is the finished product, what do you think? I mean, it's a pretty nice house, to be honest. For only 22K, I feel like this looks amazing. There's a lot of detail on the exterior. I tried to make it as modern as possible. This is my take on it. But as you can see, we have a little pathway that leads into this kind of terrace. I love this space. You can add a grill or a table, even a pool, because we can build pools in terraces now so that's amazing uh right here in the right we have the dining table i love how it how it's like on this little room this door leads into the interior so we have the couch it's a very simple house but as i said in the beginning i'm only giving you kind of like the basic so you can decorate it later as you want to but here is the kids bedroom i feel like this is pretty cute as well i would have added like toys and stuff but we didn't have the money and last but not least, we have the lofted room, which would be the parents' room. Like, this looks amazing. Look at the views. Look at that window. That looks so cute. And oh yeah, we have the bathroom. <laughs> so there's only one bathroom for the house. But I mean, it's a pretty nice bathroom. And yeah, this will be the house.